Well, happy holiday weekend. Um, Tom is a little preoccupied with his truck right now. We'll get him over here a little bit later, but I wanna show you, I'm very excited about this bang for your buck. Like a project you could do that costs about $21, but could make a huge difference. Our garage is not fancy and it's one of the things that we're hoping down the road to remove this garage like just take it like move it out <laughs> give it away do something else with it and build an attached garage that's insulated and heated a little bit bigger and so this is kind of like a temporary garage right now I mean, we're just glad to have a garage don't get me wrong but in Minnesota it's kind of nice to have it attached to in the winter so it's one of those things where it's like we don't want to spend a lot of money making it look nicer but like $20 I can I can justify $20 to make it look cuter <laughs> because when you pull up you see it and so what I want to do today is uh, because I don't have Tom's muscles available to me I do have Corbin's though I think he's gonna help a little bit uh, <laughs> he's smiling at me is just like a low-cost makeover on it that I can do I know women can do a lot of things like I could build the deck railing if I wanted to. I just don't know if I want to. <laughs> it might come to that, I don't know. So what I wanna do is actually pressure wash the garage cause you know, it just needs that. And then I'm actually gonna paint the trim around the garage doors black because somebody might have backed into it. And so there's cracks in one section and then one section's like rotting a little bit. But again, we don't really wanna go through all the work of fixing, fixing it because hopefully it's only gonna be there another year or two. So paint the trim around the doors, put on these cool, uh, they're just magnets, <laughs> like put these on and then also paint some windows onto the garage doors. I've seen this done, I think it looks cool. I don't really have anything to lose on this garage and we already have all the supplies, like we have the paint and the tape and everything. So it'll just take a little bit of my time. So I've got time, it's a holiday weekend, right? So I'm gonna get started first by pressure washing so that can start drying and then we'll do some painting and I don't know, see how big of a difference we can make with like 20 bucks in just a little bit of time. So this is my parents' pressure washer. They got it not too long ago, but you can get it on Amazon. And what's really nice about it is that it plugs into a 110 outlet, so just a regular one. And so like I can totally use it, move it around easily, just hook up the hose, plug it in, and just like ready to go. And so it's really nice. <laughs> so after this, we need to bring it back to them. <laughs> but um, we used it, I don't know, we helped them with the front of their house and their porch and stuff. And I, Tom and I used it like four hours uh, but between the two of us and it kept up great and it worked awesome. And so anyways, so we're gonna use that today and I'll link to it down below as well. I should also mention that it is 88 degrees in Minnesota today but feels like 94, it's very humid out. So a good day to pressure wash. I'm not sure though about the other projects I have planned. If if I'm gonna enjoy those so much in the sun or not, we will see. It always has to look worse before it looks better, doesn't it? I think uh, scraping paint is fun for like five minutes, right? And then it's like, oh man, there's a lot more to do. And it's also finding that balance. I mean, I could probably scrape all of the paint off the trim. I mean, if I really wanted to do a good job. So I'm just trying to find that balance of not going too far <laughs> with it. So we have the pressure washing and scraping done. So now we're gonna paint. The wood is still just a little bit wet from pressure washing it, so I don't wanna paint that yet. So I am gonna work on the little windows that we're gonna paint onto the garage doors. So first I'm gonna tape it off, and then Tom already has some black metal exterior paint that we're just gonna brush on. You can also buy these as magnets, these like windows looking things, but it's cheaper to paint them. So we're just gonna paint them on, but if you wanted a really quick fix, you could buy them too. All right, using the new grill. What we making? For like the fifth time. Yeah, we've been using it a lot. We're like, why did we not have a grill no, again for so I long? I think it's because we didn't have a deck. It does make a difference, doesn't it? It's, only, it's like the two go hand in hand. Like pulling it out of the garage in the driveway never felt the same. Yeah. So we're making some brats we're and- brats and uh, some uh, burgers. They had at the grocery store some jalapeno hamburgers, so I'm probably the only one that will be eating those, but they look probably. good. Probably. Tom's pretty good at grilling for not a ton of experience. Yeah, who'd have thought? I don't, I think, I think the things we've been cooking aren't actually terribly hard. No, <laughs> we haven't tried like steaks yet. Mostly just hamburgers and brats and, right. and we made some really good chicken too. 
So anyway. And yes, my, my grill's flaming. I'm aware. No comments, please. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep taping off uh, yep. little windows. All right, so I just finished taping those off. It is so hot out. This happens a lot though. Tom's like, can I pressure wash? And I'm like, no, I'm gonna pressure wash it now. Apparently my project looks a little more fun than putting pulling an engine out of a truck. Oh, so. have you stepped inside the shed? You know, is it as hot in there as it is in the sun? I think it's worse. You have a breeze out here. <laughs> All right, so Tom wants to help paint. So you wanna paint the little like black windows in and then yep. I'll work on painting the black trim. Sounds good. Deal? Yep. All right, here we go. There, you want to show what kind of paint you're using? Same thing as what I already used. I used the summer garage door and my brush guard. Fantastic. <laughs> and I've got some semi glass exterior. Oh, it's oil based. Oh well, I'll probably just throw the paintbrush away afterwards. And Uncle Eric's here. All right, so are we going to race? Is that what we're doing? Good luck catching me. <laughs> you better win. <laughs> you have a lot. You can't tell. And this is a gloss paint, so like you said, Tom, I think it's gonna make it even look even more like windows. Yeah, because it's shiny. Ooh, that looks cool. I like it. But what we're not sure about right now is if we like the black trim. So when Tom's done pulling the tape, I'm gonna grab the hardware and we're gonna put that on and see what we think. This is like legit sweat equity. Like <laughs> yeah. for real. Facts. <laughs> This is my third shirt of the day, and I haven't even been outside that much. No. It's, there's something about being like directly in the sun that just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, in the humidity right now. Yeah. I think that looks really cool. Yeah. I mean, the rest of the trim looks like garbage right now, but that part looks very cool. Okay, so I was thinking we would wait to put the hardware on until like the last step, but. Um, Tom has no patience. Tom has no patience, and we're just having a hard time deciding um, if we like the trim black or not because I don't want to paint any more black if we're gonna paint it back to white Are you reading the instructions? <laughs> yeah, I always do. Well, look how fast these go on. <laughs> it's so awesome <laughs> you No, know, after how we just baked in the Sun to paint on those windows I kind of wish we just spent the $20 to get the magnetic window <laughs> It's too. <laughs> it's looking so fancy Just like that it's looking fancy or I think like cute. I don't know if fancy is the right word. It's looking just like it has more character. Here's our spectator. <laughs> is it hot out today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like that. That looks perfect. Okay. Do you like it? Yeah, that looks cool. So here's what we're gonna do. I have my Go inside and take a shower. That's the next step. I have my decision about the black trim. I'm gonna tell Corbin and then you tell Corbin and he can he'll say what we both decided, okay? So I'm gonna tell Corbin my decision and then you tell him yours, okay? Okay. All right. He's gonna forget. Got it? Got it. Don't tell daddy. 
he Tom probably already knows what I'm gonna say, but sure do. <laughs> I know you will. But I want to know. I honestly want to know what you think, though. Okay. All right, let's step back and look. Hey, that makes a huge difference for like twenty dollars, right? Yeah. It, no, it does. All right, go tell Corbin. Hold on. You haven't decided yet. I have to consult with my friend. It wasn't like a clear decision for you? Oh goodness, no. Okay. Are you googling pictures of garages? Yep. Okay. I've made my decision. Alright, go tell Corbin. Google has has given me good advice. <laughs> that sounds like you're saying more than black or white. No. Alright, Corbin. You said black and dice and white. Oh no, now who decides? I'm teasing, we can do black. Do you actually think black or are you just saying that because you know that's what I want? The other reasoning behind it is to hide the imperfections in the wood was part of why I also wanted to do the black because the white just highlights the... Just keep being the black, whatever. Alright. <coughs> just don't get anything on my ladder. No. You got it. I can't paint anymore right now. I have to let it cool off a little bit more. It's already, it's almost seven o'clock at night, but it's, it's too hot. So I'm gonna let it, to let the sun go down a little more and then I'll finish painting. Emptied up my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done. What do we do to love? I think too I've been having a lot of fun with these DIY projects is that I think there's something kind of like therapeutic about creating stuff and taking something and making it look better and improving it and so I think that's been fun too and I'm, I'm I have to imagine other people are feeling that way too because we still are out of mulch at our home improvement store like we've been trying to get more and it's like all gone so I think other people are feeling that way too or I know a lot of you had said like decluttering has been really therapeutic lately my friend Marcy, she has a super cool art channel and I know a lot of people have getting been getting back into like crafting and art projects and she does very cool projects with like very low budget items but she makes cool macrame stuff and like this little rope dish. Isn't that so cool? And so uh, it's been fun to look at some of these projects with Adeline because now that she's 10, almost 11, sometimes it's a little bit harder to find art or craft projects for that age group, I think. And so we've been having fun trying some of these together. Marcy does some really cool stuff um, with coffee and painting and making different patterns and making special papers. And so then it's fun to mail them to someone else, mail them to my grandma. And so I'd love it if you check out Marcy's channel. Everything she does is, it's so cool. Her videos are awesome. And so if you wanna check out her channel, I know she would appreciate it too. All right, so Tom didn't love this wide chunk of black in the middle, so he just ripped down a strip that we're gonna paint white and put, so it'll kind of divide the doors a little bit, which I think will look good. I drove out to the road and it just, from the road even, it just looked weird, like this really wide black thing. You couldn't really see that too well from the road, but you see a really big black line. Okay, all right, so. It's just kind of odd. Yeah, so we'll just break it up. I'm gonna paint that white and we'll nail it on. But otherwise the black trim is done, so I'm gonna get out the white paint, I'll paint that and then touch up the other spots of white around and we are almost done. All right, so now I'm just gonna go around and touch up all these white spots that we peeled off. So this paint was definitely not the cheapest, this isn't sponsored or anything, but I am learning, especially with exterior paint, to just get good stuff, it lasts longer, it goes on better, and I mean it was like $15 more, so really in the long run. It's worth it. And I love the screw top lid. <laughs> Isn't that so much easier? <laughs> it's the little things in life. 
I also forgot to mention that I want to make some little planter stands too out of the old railing from by the door and so that was all made out of cedar so it's nice wood and I have these planters but I think they would look a little bit nicer if they just sat up off the ground a little bit more and so I I have no idea if that's gonna work out and in my head it looks really cute and they come together really easily but I have no idea if that's actually gonna work or not so you'll you'll get to see okay so here's my rough design I just put together this is not a tutorial <laughs> because this is yeah um, so I'm just gonna have Tom help me finish screwing these all together because I know it'll go faster and I really want to get this done but I, yeah I'm gonna just paint it all black and it it just kind of is what it is <laughs> so. all right I think we're gonna call it for today I got everything almost done and so I'm like hiding in a quarter of shade on our deck now and I made some iced coffee this is my reward these lids if you haven't seen these before um are really cool and I just got them on Amazon actually Diana gave them to me but you can get them on Amazon inexpensively and these mason jars are made for like beans and asparagus so they have like a straight side so they still fit in cup holders so anyway <laughs> so we got everything just about done I do want to paint when Tom added that white middle section in um, we want to run that white all the way up so the doors look separate so I'm gonna paint that section of trim white over the black so I still have to do that yet and then Adeline actually said that she liked the planter stands in the wood color I was gonna paint them black and when I stood back, I'm like, oh, maybe they do look better wood colored because others they might just blend in with the trim. And so I think I'm going to stain those the same color as the legs and then we'll see how that looks. What do you think of this like $30 garage makeover? I think it's awesome. I think it looks way different. I mean, for 30 bucks, it's like a complete transformation. And then, I mean, this magnetic har hardware is super cool. I mean, you saw how quickly Tom put it on too. Like it takes no time. The magnets seem really strong. So... I don't think we have to worry about them falling off. That's what the reviews said too. They actually get really good reviews. I think the only thing I would be concerned is that they might fade over time, but I don't know, for $20, we could probably just buy a new set if that's what happens. And so this set for, I think it was $21, it came with enough for both doors. So it was like $21 total. I think this is like the biggest bang for our buck project we've probably done. I know, are there any other $30 projects I know, that's that we could get like, that big of a like, kick out of? Cheap, cheap things. We need to like stain our garden and, um, mm. But that sounds like hot that now. That sounds awful. Yeah. Well, and it's hard to believe it's 4th of July weekend already. I was thinking back to last 4th of July, we went to a water park and uh, Princeton, Diana's husband, Princeton, his family was, his parents were in town and his sisters came and, and their families. And, it, and now this year, the water park's closed. His parents weren't able to come like they normally do because of everything. And so, I don't know, it's, it's hard. It doesn't even totally feel like a holiday weekend no, I don't just, think no yeah it's just kind of weird yeah it's been a little strange so I think we are gonna um we are gonna try and find some fireworks to go sit and watch tomorrow night and then we'll probably have a barbecue here on our new deck um at some point in the weekend and celebrate Maggie's birthday too she's our independence baby not quite fourth no. of July but close so we always kind of her birthday gets paired in with the fourth of July so so that'll be good but yeah probably pretty pretty low-key and you have a truck to keep working on too but it's kind of hot for that isn't it it is really hot for that i think the <laughs> other thing is like like it's something i'm passionate about and excited about mm -hmm. but like i also feel like it's kind of a loner thing oh yeah like i do kind of a, a lot of times i go back and forth thinking like maybe maybe i should just sell all this stuff again and just not do a car project like this for another 10 years like wait till the kids are bigger and like can help the more. boys and i can do it together and it could yeah. be like a bonding thing because right yeah. now it's kind of just like a, a solo thing like yeah you guys are either in the house or in the yard or whatever and i'm out there by myself but i know a good group project how about finishing up the railing on the deck yeah no I, i'm game for that <laughs> yeah we're still we haven't decided yet thank you for your ideas that you all shared too um like the doing maybe hog paneling cable it's so funny because like everything when we add up the cost it still almost all comes out about the same cost as the like aluminum maintenance free black post right and and nothing we've been looking at is 100 percent maintenance free like no. the full vinyl post we've yeah. none of, nothing because that's way out of that's, our price yeah. range but yeah you're right everything we've looked at has all been like within 150 bucks yeah total so we're still kind of, we're, well, we're still completely undecided of what we're actually mm. going to do for railing, but hopefully by next weekend we'll have a plan for that figured out. But um, 
we might have to do that like in the early mornings and evenings because it is so hot. Yeah, I think here. like the next 10 days is supposed it's to be over 90. It's supposed to stay hot. So that's our next step, figure out what we're going to do for a deck railing. Well, we hope you have a really great 4th of July weekend. We're always so grateful for those who have fought for our country, who have kept it free and made it free. We are, mm -hmm. we're indebted. So thank you to everyone who has served and is serving. But we hope you have a great weekend. We love you and we'll visit with you again soon. Bye-bye.